Hi there, welcome to the channel. I'm Beatrice and today I have a short class for sciatica. Sciatica happens when the sciatic nerve, which runs from the lower back to the foot, gets compressed. And when it gets compressed, it can cause pain, numbness, tingling and weakness all the way along those, that line or in certain places, such as the lower back, the hip or all the way down the foot. And bear in mind that sciatica usually is unilateral, so it runs just on one side. If you have pain on both sides and it's quite intense, make sure you see a healthcare professional because it can be something completely different and it needs to be treated properly. So you can definitely take this video if you have sciatica and you have been diagnosed and you know you can exercise. You can also take this video if you have something else called piriformis syndrome, which is pain in the piriformis muscle, which is one of the glutes muscles. And it often gets confused with sciatica because it can have some referred pain into the lower back. And it's usually though quite localized to the hip. So if you have either sciatica or piriformis syndrome, you're welcome to take this video. Please have a strap handy, a yoga strap. If you don't have that, you can use a tie or a belt. And when you're ready, come practice with me. We are starting this practice from seated. Come to any comfortable seated position. You don't have to be cross-legged. And soften the arms down. If you feel comfortable, close off the eyes. Otherwise, look down to the ground and soften the gaze. And bring your attention to any area of discomfort. It could be your lower back, hip, foot, leg. Notice if there's any tingling. Any numbness. Notice if you're holding tension that you can release. to connect with your breath. Breathing in fully and breathing out completely. your breath as soft as possible and trying to maintain this attention to the breath and this softness throughout the practice. If your eyes are closed, gently open them. Lean back a bit and bring the soles of your feet to the ground, a little bit wider than your hips. Now take this as feels good for you. So take a moment to lift your chest, maybe hold your knees. And on your exhale, take your knees down to the right. You can do this with your hands back and down, or you can do this with your hands at your chest. And we'll do a bit of movement side to side. Breathe in, lift your knees up. Breathe out, take them to the left. Breathe in, knees up. Breathe out to the right. Breathe in, knees up. Breathe out, left. Breathe in, knees up. Now come into the right, hold there. Adjust your hips. 
and bring your feet in line with your knees on both sides, about a 90 degree angle with the knee. Turn to face the right and you can stay upright or you can walk your hands forward. Take a few full breaths here. Walk yourself back up. Come through to center, lift the knees and come to the other side, knees down to the left. Adjust your feet. Bring them about in line with your knee and turn to face the left and either stay upright or walk yourself forward. your way up to center and come to hands and knees for a little bit of gentle rolls of the spine. Now from hands and knees place your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, come into cat and cow. On your breath in lift the tailbone up, drop the belly, open the chest, come through to cow and on your breath out let the head drop, press the ground away with the fingers, spread your shoulders and all the way down, tuck your tailbone, pay particular attention to your lower back. Two more times, breathe in. Breathe out. Last one. in breath come through to your neutral spine and come around to lie on your back we'll continue with some spinal movements in bridge have your strap close by here and slowly lower down to your back as you come to your back bring your feet in towards you as close as possible bring your hands either side of your body palms down and on your next breath in Press the heels to the ground and gently lift from your lower back up through the spine. As you come to the top, squeeze the glutes and lift a little higher. Breathe out, slowly lower down. Breathe in, lift up. Squeeze at the top. Breathe out, slowly lower down. Take three more, breathe in. Breathe out. Last two with your own breath. down to your back and gently invite the knees to your chest one at a time. Take your hands to the top of your knees and take a little bit of rocking forwards and back. Take your left foot back to the ground, grab your strap and pass it around the sole of your right foot. 
bringing the leg to a stretch of the hamstring. So straighten the knee as much as you need to, to feel that sensation at the back of your thigh. Hold the strap at the bottom so you don't build any tension in the neck and shoulders. Moving a little bit here. So breathe in, bend your knees, soften the foot. Breathe out, straighten up, flex the foot. Breathe in, bend and release. Breathe out, straighten up. Three more times, breathe in. Breathe out. Two more. Last one. Hold it up. Remove the strap, bend your knee and take the right ankle over the top of your left knee. Send that right knee away from you and you can stay here or you can lift the left leg in towards you. The aim is to find a little bit of sensation at the outside of your right hip. As soon as you find that, stop there. If it's still not enough, thread your arms in between the legs and hold the back of your thigh or your shin. Just be mindful that you don't lift the neck and the shoulders. So if that happens, release the hold. Now if this is enough, stay here. Otherwise, hold the foot with the left hand, knee with the right hand, and bring the left foot back to the ground. And hold the knee maybe a little closer in towards you, see how that feels. If you're still crossing the ankle, uncross. If you're here holding the foot, bring your knee to your chest. So everyone knee to chest. Straighten the left leg down. And on your next breath out, guide that right knee to the left and take the right arm out to twist. Gently come back to center. And let's come to the other side. So this time the right foot is grounded, left foot comes in towards you, strap around the sole of your foot. Holding at the bottom of the strap and starting with our movement. So breathing in, knee bends, foot softens. Breathe out, straighten and flex the foot. Breathe in. Breathe out. Three more. Last one. Holding at the top. Notice if there's any difference between the two sides. Release the hold, remove the strap, 
and bring the ankle over the top of your knee. Send that left knee away from you and either stay here or decide to maybe lift the foot. Maybe you want to hold the back of your thigh or your shin. Be mindful of your neck and shoulders. If the figure four is enough, stay here. Otherwise, right hand goes to the sole of your foot, left hand to the knee. Relax the right foot down and invite the left knee a little closer to you. Now wherever you are, knees come to the chest, remove the hand from the foot, straighten the right leg down, and on your next exhale, guide that right, left knee towards the right, opening out the left arm. Come through center, bring your knees back to your chest one at a time and you can hug them in or you can rock a bit forwards and back. When you're ready, take your knees together, feet out as wide as your mat, soles of the feet to the ground. And you can have your hands on your belly or you can have them out. And take a moment to notice again the area from your lower back down to the feet, noticing any sensation. Stay here for as long as you need to. When you're ready to come out, do so gently and slowly. Thank you so, so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, subscribe and share with your friends and family. Thank you.